and welcome everyone to Throwback Thursday. We're checking out Kid Icarus. If you need some more gameplay audio, let me know. Now we have got a cool manual, but unfortunately, Streamlabs has been a little bit weird and isn't letting me do PDF files. So let's have a look, see if we can whiz that up before we get started. I just need to do it. I got an idea. Bear with me for a second. Here we go. We can enjoy some music while waiting. Um, uh... Ah, here we go. Oh. So here we go. So I thought as a bit of a treat, we could have a look through this PDF. Now, hopefully, it should scroll as it scroll. I apologize that it's first zoomed in. Let's see if we can sort that out quickly. Here. Oh, I don't need this. Off the right. There we go. Just so I can make it bigger for everyone at home to see. So hopefully now, as I scroll through the PDF, we'll be able to have a look at it together. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller on my screen so I can... Oh no, when I change it here, it changes there. Okay, let me just quickly scroll see if it changes. Okay, here we go. So I thought what we could do to start with, we'll have a quick look at this old PDF manual. Obviously this original booklet, this is a digital scan of it, so... Hopefully you can still all hear me right, that's fine. Let's have a scroll through and see what we have here. Table contents. I just want to show you some of this cool art stuff and give you an idea a little bit about Kid Icarus. The tale of Kid Icarus. Let's go back to a distant past to an age when the gods and man lived together in harmony. There was once a kingdom called Angel Land. This kingdom was ruled by two beautiful goddesses, Palentinia Plin Oh, I can't pronounce the name. Valentia, who administrated, administrated light, and Medusa, who ruled darkness. Valentia lived in the palace in the sky and administrated, administrate, that's such a weird word to use, administrated light so that man could live in happiness. And bathed in the, this light, man grew food and lived in peace. However, Medusa, the goddess of darkness, was different. Medusa hated mankind. She took great pleasure in drying up the crops that man took great pains to grow and in turning people into stone statues. In her anger, Palentia changed Medusa into an ugly monster and banished her to the deep, dark underworld. For being changed into the ugly monster and forced to live in the underworld, Medusa promised to take over the palace in the sky where Palenta lived. Palatina. Is it Palatina? Maybe it's Palatina, sorry. Palatina lived. So great was Medusa's anger that she joined forces the monsters and evil spirits of the underworld, and Medusa's army soon began to surpass Palatina's army in strength. Soon a war between Palatina and Medusa began. Medusa led a surprise attack on Palatina's army, which could barely fend off the attack. Palatina's army suffered major losses. Gotta love these. Um, drawings as well. This is in the official manual for this game as well. And was heavily defeated heavily defeated in the final battle. What's more, Medusa's army took the three sacred treasures, the mirror, and sound like a Zelda game now. The mirror. The mirror shield, the arrow of light, and the wings of Pegasus away from them. Almost all of the warriors in Palatina's army were turned into stone statues, and Palatina herself was imprisoned deep in the palace in the sky. The peaceful realm of Angel Land came to be inhabited by foul and terrible monsters and was ruled into a land of darkness ruled by 
the wicked Medusa, locked in the depths of the palace in the sky. Palatina's strength was drained to its last. As a last resort, he sought the help of an angel youth, angel youth pit, who was being held prisoner locked in a deep dungeon in the underworld. Pitt was a valiant warrior who used to be in charge of Palatina's personal bodyguards. Armed with a bow and arrow brought to him through Palatina's magical strength, Pitt, Pitt attempted an escape Oop. from the underworld. The guard at this time was low in number, and as Medusa's army had advanced to the palace in the sky, Pitt succeeded in his escape and set on his long adventure to rescue Palatina. Yet, to defeat Medusa, he had to get the three sacred treasures, which we'll be trying to do today. Will Pitt be able to restore Palatina's light and return it to Angel Land? Only you can answer the question. Okay, so this just goes to basically like, here's your stats screen, here's your password screen. Oh, we better not write some passwords then. I have a paper for passwords. Um, for the game over. So I just want to show you like all these little drawings in this manual. It's pretty cool. Oh, thank you, Sisters Nelly, for the contribution. I can't quite see the chat while I'm doing this PDF. Okay, we've got basic wisdom. Yep, okay. Let's just have a flick through here. We've got our basic controls here, I know. Good old NES controller, not too many buttons going on here. Up and down. So the difference here in this game, when you make pit squat, you jump through the floors, which any of you have played um, Super Smash Brothers will know that. Um, the select button is weapons. Uh, B's attack. And he's jump, okay. We've got all this here. I'm not going to go for all this now. I just want to show you some of these drawings. I think there's some interesting pages come up with the uh, monsters, though. Okay. Weird to see again, it's just, I'm going to tell you what all the levels are. Okay, we've got items to pick up. There's a shopkeeper. We've got flaming arrows, sacred bow, protective crystal. Steel casket, mirror shield, light arrows. Yeah, let's skip all this. Whoa, so much stuff here. All these drawings are great though. Okay, this is why I'll show you some of the enemies we're going to face today. And the, I love the, the drawing impression. Well, they won't give us the pixel out here. Let's go for a drum. We've got Com Commy Loose. Magoo. Ganamide. Mono Eye. That's an easy name there. Nettler. Some type of one eyed slug. Twin Bellows. Heron. I think it's a type of slug. Bloom. Glutton. He's a Robin Ogre. Minos. Mick. What? Did they just run out of names? Yeah, we'll just call this weird monster here Mick. Tamambo. A rockman, but not Mega Man Rockman. Green Snowman. The Adom wow, that is a scary Adomal Snowman. You draw Holler Frost. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> it's just Colin. There's Colin. All these random. Yep. No, let's just call this. Warrior here, Colin. Octos. Comanto. Fluttonfly. E Isle. Uranos. Epa. Pandora. Like thing. Anatos. Siren. Uh, Molia. A random name for staff. What? The enemies are very random in this game. Totem. Daph Daphne. Here's Daphne the flower. Erinus. Zurin. What's going on? It's like it's... I don't know what's going on there. That's a weird nose. Or a ghost. Monolith. Eggplant wizard. <laughs> Shemoon. Speck nose. Oh, it's like some type of... Jellyfish nose with eyeballs. That's weird. Reaper and Reaper Et. Centurion, Medusa, Palatina. There you go. There's a bunch of questions in here that are not very helpful at all. There you go. That was the um, interesting PDF to get us started there. 
if anyone wants to see more of that later on, let me know. But let's get to the main show of the thing here. Get Icarus on the Nez. So, sort of standard platform warfare here. Now, I have been pre warned already. The very beginning of this game is quite difficult, so we're going to just have to try and um, see how we do. Let me know about audio levels if you need more my voice or um, gameplay. Let me know. It looks alright on my stream lab, so. Um, we've just got this bow and arrow. No double jump here. We have got these doors we can go through. Yeah, I don't know what these do yet, because every time I've come to one of these areas so far in the game, nothing's been here. Unless there's like... Hidden? I don't know. Also, the other weird thing in this game as well, when you go on here, when you go off the screen this side, you come on this side. Oh, I'm just... Oh, I was too busy looking at the screen, make sure it's all right. Okay, at least enemies can't jump back up. Crumbs. Oh, that was a bigger hat there. He's not going to just keep harassing me. And those half a hearts so are worth loads. <gasps> I think if we keep playing, we don't need to put the password in. I hope so. We'll find out soon. And the door. Let's try and get as many hearts as we can. <sighs> oh. Point. That was the other thing I need to say. Like, you keep going up, the screen moves up, but if you fall back down off the screen, just die straight away. So, gotta be careful. I know in my head it's like, oh, there's a platform there, but... <gasps> there isn't. Ah, oh, that one's stuck in the wall. Some floors you can fall through. Also, don't annoy the Grim Reaper. Oh, is this that? Yep. I'm sure if we can kill him either. Nope. I just gotta wait till he's moved out of the way. Why well, everything flying wants to kill me? Ah! I told you people online were saying this first area is a little bit on the tricky. We can shoot upwards as well. The hearts are to buy stuff. I know the screen isn't cropped weirdly. I that is what that weird red square looks like underneath where it says the hearts are. Because to me, I'm like, man, that looks like it's cropped weirdly, but even on my the other monitor, that is how it looks. So. Anyway, it's throwback Thursday as always. So. Feel free to chat about anything retro. Also, we're rocking on the, the NES today. Ah. Uh, 
surprised me. I was really intrigued to come and play this because I really enjoyed the um it is across uprising game on the 3DS that game is awesome. You, know, you have to break your hands to try and play it, but Oh uh lady set something off just <sighs> Oh come on. Ah Hey flying enemies. Ah. Uh. Okay, there's eyeball head here. I've got past this before. Little awkward blocks to jump on. Do 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 do. do. Oh. And this uh, right, okay. <laughs> oh I thought never expect enemies to die straight away. This controls a bit better than Ice Climber. Yes! You first leveled then. I think so, anyway. Well, first part of the first zone. Oh, my goodness, made that is bad to enemies. Oh no. Oh, phew. Okay. I'm glad it remembered. I need to just hydrate for a second. Okay, here we go. These guys are a pain. I can't think of a game where flying enemies aren't a pain, so... Ooh, shop. What is that? Try a bang from me? What do I want? Go for a feather. Everybody think.
Um, did you gain? Oh, we haven't got enough. We have, well haven't got enough. I think the hearts must be the currency then. Man, that shop is expensive. Make sure I don't fall through this ice. Oh! Oh, I don't know what I landed on then, but that was lucky recovery. From Reaper. Uh, no. And how am I going to get past? I don't think you can kill him. Right, let's wait till he's... Man! Get, me, get that drink. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm glad I pulled that off. Oh, ice isn't too slippy. Oh, nope. Slippy, that was open. Here we go. Oh. Ah. I get some more money. Man, he's up with upwards arrows, but like. don't go particularly far, do they? Oh man, we slime ones them. It's those ice platforms. Oh, 
Oh, I always end up going for their backs. Need to get past this ice bear. Glitched out then. Okay, let's get rid of these. Okay. Nicely does it. Stay calm. Usually I don't go this soon, but I need to quickly nip the toilet, sorry. Right back.
Okay, we're back. Thank you for waiting. Get back to some good Icarus. Oh, ah, here we go. But basically, we just got to be careful on that icy jump that's a little bit further up. Thing I need here. I do apologize. My webcam is. Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Oh, well, that was one way to get rid of the Grim Reaper, though. Oh, no, don't do it again. Yeah, I always end up dying on. Right, okay. <gasps> I was just going to go to the other side of the screen. Ah, that was a shame. So if you just joined us, when you go off the side of the screen, you usually come back on the other side. And there must have been a gap there. Probably because originally these games were meant for CRT TV so you could tell where the gap is but when you're playing on a widescreen TV you've just got these huge black bars on the side so I'm having a hard tell actually telling where's the actual board of the game and what's just the black bars oh thank you very much space off for the contribution when I get to a safe bit, I will check to see how we're doing. What, 38,000? Okay, we need 50,000 chat points. So, uh, Wii Sports Resort evening. Like I said, it's going to be about on a Friday at about half seven or seven o'clock. I'm hoping to do a seven to nine slot. That's um, seven to nine p.m. UK time. And if we meet the target within like next week, we'll do it on Friday the 20th. And any requests for any particular sports or activities in Wii Sports Resort, let me know in time for that event. Make sure we've got everything set up for that. It's so long since I played Wii Sports Resort, I can't remember if you used the, uh, the Wii Fit board for anything, which I do have a Wii Fit board, but it probably needs charging because I have a feeling it's been sitting in a box for the last couple of years. Yeah, how are we going to get past this? Look that. And you, I don't think you can kill him. No. Wow. I do big enough. Nope. Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh no! I just went in the door. Get out of there. Ah, oh, but the health is gone. Oh well, I wasn't gonna fight the evil noses. Careful, careful. 
well careful running and jumping on this, because... I'm low on health here. Ah! I know I can do this, but it's just... ...being tricky. There we go. In the stream, I showed off the original manual. So, if anyone wants to see that at the end of the stream, let me know and I'll put it back up again. <gasps> On. You don't need anything here, but. Actually, no. Oh, quickly. Okay. Oof, okay. Oh, it actually does it. Okay, so we know there's a gap there now. Seriously. <sighs> ah! Surely can't jump. That's too far to jump in the middle. We jump this. Oh, all right. That was my knee on the disc. first bit was going to be a bit of a headache, but... That is a pain. <sighs> oh, that was beautiful. Get this drink, yes. See me that time. Okay. I'm very nervous about this bit here. Where do we go from here? I tried jumping to the left and it went horribly wrong. Can I really jump that? Get rid of everyone first. There's no way. My god, jump right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, I, 
promise you, I definitely pressed the jump button then. I need to say that a little bit too late. Uh huh. Okay, maybe some weight somewhere safer. I will test out how far I can jump. Maybe, maybe I could make that. Come on. Weird snake worms, what are you doing? I don't know what's more frustrating, this or Ice Climber? Ice Climber's levels are a little bit short, so at least it's a bit more forgiving. And Nintendo in this phase of vertical climbers. Ah. I haven't thought anything in there, yeah. Get it, get it. Phew. Oh. Did not mean for that to happen. Oh, the Reaper's fallen down here. And his behavior is all over the place at the moment. Last time he didn't see me, and this time he fell. That is most unusual. Like I'm jumping to the river here. Oh. Got to careful size not to run and jump. Come on. <sighs> oh. Bad time. This bit I'm nervous about now. Really got to jump across? Because yeah, I hit my head last time I tried to go. Why did it not do it? I don't understand. I do understand. The flying enemies really put me off that bit. I welcome tips for that bit. Am I doing the wrong jump or am I doing the right jump and I've just timed it wrong? If I've timed it wrong, I don't mind. But if I'm trying the wrong thing, then I don't want to be doing that over and over again. Dude, dude, dude. Ah. I think one of my favorite game on the NES is I really like original Donkey Kong. Original Donkey Kong's really good. Also, I don't have any different weapons yet, either. Oh, I got lucky then. Wonder what made the Grim Reaper fall down here last time. Come on, get that glass. Yes. Yeah, I can make that jump, surely. Let's give it a whirl. Ah, really? <laughs> ah. Thank you. 
I just want to hit those blocks like Mario, but nope. Far too much health. <gasps> right, let's hydrate first and then we'll try that Get rid of this one, then we'll get the health. Come on, can we have a sip of that drink? Yes. Right, let's take our time here. jump here. Wow, where are these back I spin from? Ah, oh, my goodness. Man. Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I did it, did it, did it. Oh, that felt so good. Um, moving platforms. Like the hellish nightmare that is. No! I'm just gonna go back to the beginning of Ah, you've gotta be joking. Is it possible to kill the Grim Reaper? Oh, 
anyone knows, let me know. That would change everything. Like, I would wait on that platform more and shoot more if I knew it could die. This Kid Icarus is definitely more rage inducing than Kid, I Kid Icarus Uprising on. But yeah. Keep hoping to make a switch port for the 3DS would be great. I know some people go, but it won't have the 3D effect. Well, I never used the 3D effect on the 3DS anyway because I can't. Hey, I just hit my eyes after a while and I can't really see it very well. Uh, to me, it doesn't need that. I thought it looked pretty good. Even without it, so. Ah. Huh. Tom Pitt. Some bits in this game are just a monster closet. <laughs> ah, yes. Why is that so difficult for ages? Not getting hit is the trickier. Reaper. I don't I'm gonna get past him. Yeah, look how angry he is. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I got very lucky there. Nope, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Ooh. Where did that blood come from? Where? Where was that from? Eight cheap kills. Yeah, oh, it was the... I was going to say it wasn't normal. But yesterday was the... Nintendo's Indie World presentation, but therefore indie games. So, we're looking for, I really want like a new Idicris game. I keep hoping every time there's a Nintendo Direct, I want Idicris, F Zero, Star Fox. Oh, who else hasn't had something in a while? Well, I imagine if there was a brand new Ice Climbers game. Yeah, right, let's get rid of these. Come on, drink. Drink! He's less chatty in this. Hey, 
in Kirigras is um, Kirigras uprising is very chatty. <gasps> jump! Like I know it seems silly. You're probably watching going. That was so silly place to jump, but it's still not ice. You get the momentum and oof, you go. Bum, 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 bum. Ah! I'm right. I was gonna die then. Okay. This second level. Definitely um Give me some issues. Why do you put these doors in such weird places? This man in a barrel? Oh no, it's not good. <gasps> Ooh. Reaper is really strange. Like sometimes he's on you like there's no tomorrow, and other times like ah nah I'm alright. Focus, let's focus. Here we go.
or monster closets. I want to try and get the feather. I'm sure the feather was what the thing I was meant to get. Makes sense. Hi. Get a breath. Focus. Not get enough sleep to do this sort of game. So he turns around. I. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah. If anyone has any questions about throwback, any retro questions or any general things, free please feel free to. But in the chat, I don't mind, it might actually help. I think it'd be something else to think about one. Doing this. be interesting to think in the future like what games will be people classes well everything will be retro but i meant like what will be the games people will go back to like oh yeah i'm playing whatever doing I and mean, there's so many games that come out now this game's enjoyed but like sometimes you forget you even played them and stuff like i recently just finished a game called lost in a random that came out last year or the year before an indie game it made me realize and made me think going oh in 15 years will be someone be like oh yeah playing this or like i'm playing this retro game i'm reading my retro gamer magazine that seems to be the cutoff point is like they say about 15 years everyone's a little bit different so some people it's like whatever the consoles they grew up with that's what's retro so like me it's the snes and the n64 The interest like one day like Xbox 360 is gonna be someone's retro console. I'm gonna no way am I gonna survive this. Ah That's not the right timing on these snake creatures. Alright, if I can get some health now. <gasps> ah
Oh, no, don't want to be in here. Ah, the elf's gone there. Never mind. with the jumps here. Yes. Okay, making good making better progress here. Small quick jumps too. Oh, it's hydrate while we. Oh man, wish there was a good bit about this Grim Reaper, but. Slow. Nope. I bet like the exit right nearby, I think. When I do do well, I've made silly mistakes early on, and then getting damage taken. That's what I'm trying to avoid here. I'm trying to make the progress up, but without getting damaged on the way. Times I use the button. Where? There's one time you need it to save your life. Besides then, didn't press it. Oh. Wow, how I missed those, I don't know.
Wait. Okay, once he's turned round. Don't look at me. Turn that way. Drink. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. I hadn't lost a little bit of health earlier. I've uh, been alright. Oh, hey. You know what? It's still a good game. It's very difficult. I'm not gonna. Maybe it's not saying I'd jump to to play to, but... Oh, they still went. Ah, right, nope. I know, get rid of these little ones first before drinking them. I'll go stay here again to this. Uh, one way to mine. Oh, come on. Oh, whoa. I uh, know. 
No! I panicked. I panicked because I was like, oh no, I don't want to land on the Grim Reaper and that's going to cause me damage. And I'm falling down. Maybe that's why his name's Pit. Maybe he spends too many times falling into pits. Let's get rid of these snake worms. Come on. I need 450 for ever as well. If you just join us, we're on Kid Icarus for the original Nintendo, and we are suffering the second level bit with one or two tricky ice jumps and flying bad guys. Not these, the um, it must be the Grim Reapers. Reapers. Oh, yeah, there's some. Nasty jumps in this game. Throw back Thursday, so everyone's welcome to talk about all things retro games, so I don't have any strict rules on what's classed as retro or what isn't, so whatever feels retro to you. Could be the NES, could be the Commodore 64, an Atari, or even something more modern like an Xbox 360. That's what's retro to you. Ah. At the beginning of the stream, we even got a chance to check out the game manual. There's a digital scan online of it, so very cool to see all the ah. Uh, on the story. Ooh, carefully does it now. My health is not where it should be for this bit. And these don't give me any health. I'm looking for drinks for health. Oh my goodness me, everyone's landing in the wrong place. Risky, risky, risky. Okay, there we go. Here's the dreaded Grim Reaper. Yeah, these are the ones I need to get rid of first. Oh, my health is so low. They're gone. Yes! Okay. Oh no, this really... Ah! You find... Reaper Ooh! Not enough checkpoints. Oh, 
Come on, yes. The hearts of the currency, so I'm trying to get enough to get that feather, but a little bit ways off here. No, ah, I sent off too soon. Okay. Health, right? Uh, be careful. Oh, um. Um, it's the Reaper that's summoning these little ones. Um, that was a terrible. That did not go well. Right. Usually I can get past that Reaper. It's the Reaper after, but... Oh my goodness, man, I'm making silly mistakes now. At some point, all these got re released on Game Boy Advance. So I've got the Ice Climber on Game Boy Advance. I'm not sure if they made any changes, or if it was straight up like. It's just the NES games on the Game Boy Advance. had full health there but I've lost that's so weird why it does that weird how as soon as you go through a door like other pickups disappear quick I didn't want to get stuck in that kind of oh what Family does it. Whoa. Come on, don't risk losing too much health now. They have lost too much to get past this Grim Reaper, I don't know. Look at him. Not even like a case of boo is like look away. They look 
And I just lose it and these lot turn up. <sighs> oh, come on. Yes. I'm just going to keep my cool here. Don't risk it too much. Come on. Yes. Okay, now I'm in the on. <gasps> nope. This is the slug that killed me last time. Nope, don't want to go on that block. I need to go on that ice thing. Ooh, okay, it's the perfect spot now. I'm really nervous about slugs. I know it sounds like a weird thing to be nervous about, but where are these slugs here from? Are they just hiding in some blocks? Whoa. Can I get anything in here? Glad you came. Here, take this. <gasps> yes! Okay, I don't know what it does, but I'm happy to have it. Oh. Oh! No! Yes! Unbelievable. I'm making a note of that. Okay, next level, third level, here we go. Finally. I don't know what, I don't know what that power up they did, gave me, but... Oh, finally, someone new. Same flaming song, though, seriously. Did not come up with a different song. I'm glad it's a good song, but... If we die now, at least we come back to this third level. I just need to see what, what's happening. What is the deal with this third level? What if it'll be a different song where we get to a different zone? I think each there's four zones and they're split into multiple levels. Okay, that thing does die. Anything good in here? Nope. <laughs> what is that? Just a random candle looking thing. This means platform is getting. I'm guessing that red stuff's bad. There's a lack of animation going on, that's all. Oh no! I jumped! Okay, well, that was our first try at the third level, so. No! Oh no, we're fine. Oh, I got worried. It looked like the beginning is level 2, but it's not. It's level 3. So I think it's a weird green. Oh, grab that one. Again. I'll try and save up for that feather. And I need to hydrate as well. Sorry, my voice is gone. I haven't got multiple weapons yet. Oh, is this thing coming first? Come on. That's it, everyone come here. Ah, man. I think it's the placements of enemies that's doing my head in. I don't mind a challenge, but this is sometimes just like, nope, stand here well. A candle's for. Just there for funsies, clearly. Yes, okay. Anything going here? Yeah, I'm not wasting 20 on that. I don't need health. If it was cheaper there though. Like I, nothing else is clearly bothered by the lava. Why is there so many candles? Oh!
I don't need enemy placements there. Oh, nope. I need them. Um, I guess I don't want to get attacked by whatever that thing is. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be unpleasant. Get on the way back. Oh, phew. Okay. Nope. Come on, leave me alone, please. Nope. Don't die now. Don't. Ah! And next step, and I've got to quickly nip to the toilet. If we can get least further, if not finish this level. I've got the old thing. Oh no, I've gone too far here. Sometimes you get yourself trapped in some bad places. Just spawning more bad guys. Yep. Right, okay, we're making progress here. you deaf. Oh, it was one of those. Yes. Was this the one? Oh! Ugh. Nope, nothing good in here. Sorry, I can't afford anything. So be very careful not to press down as well. Why did I go this way? things. Oh. Get health badly. Oh. I need health. Come on. Oh, there's some help somewhere. For, looks like a glass of wine. I'll put it in for you. Oh, come on. What's that? Ah. No! Right. Right, I'm quickly nipping to pull up. Stick around, we'll be back in a second.
Thank you for waiting. We're back. Some more. Here to Chris, let's see if we can get past this third level. I thought I would have hated this tune by now, but still catchy. Got so close to getting that half as well. Get rid of those weird, weird things in my. Oh man. I can even outrun them. I want the half. Yes. I actually know if this weird, weird looking things hurt them. close then. things or I decide what I'm doing uh, run them or staying oh that was a bad thing Come on jump also it's very random if I'm gonna hit hit by this underground thing. Where was the... There was a door that went to a room with just star pots in. This one? Oh. 
get into this. Anyone has long weeks this week? Just don't get me. Uh, thanks for next door. Oh, that's the door in the. I need to go right to make sure I get the door with the question marks. I need to go right here. Oh no, I don't have to Let's see what the options are because of the drink. For the drink. Ah, no. Yes, after a while. Oh, might be able back, guys. Or just. Cool. Like, that's how you can die too many times as well. Just a bad guy landing on your head. How much do I have to outrun them before? Uh. Right, take that. Nice. Come on. A oh, more? Was there more? That was unfair. It just jumped up and was like, well, I was in the way. There you go. Swarm from the sky is a deep hit. Oh, on. Right, right, first we want the door. Possibly get some life. Oh, even in the same place. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Okay. Even work? And this is a bad place to be. There we go. Ooh. Pull this down, we know we're going right here together. Bonus hat. Okay, so those little ones are pull this time. Ah, it did change. Sometimes it's the same, and sometimes it changes. I'm not risking that. At least we know these weird yellow plant things don't hurt. They look like they would. <gasps> they do hurt! Ah! Right, I can't believe I just lost life. That's the first time it hurt me, so it's obviously only if you're in for them for so long, like the lava. That is a very strange delay. from these metroids mixed with goombas uh. ah man that's him again now ah uh. i understand how did i do that level so many times and those plants didn't hurt me and now they are Game doesn't even stick to its own rules. Just don't know how it's gonna go. Oh, yep. Yeah. I pull this off now, it's a miracle. Ah, no, 
half a bit right off. Let's give it two more tries. Focus on keep on going as fast as I can. Outrun them. Basically behave like fire and marrow. Then it turn oh nice shot there. And into the back first. Come on. Yeah, oh. Playing too, too long now, hanging. Wait, your retro gamer hands gone. Right hand side. Oh no, I was hoping this would be the run. Thank you. 
Oh. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, look. Well, that was good timing anyway. There you go, that was throwback Thursday, and Hydra Chris is a lot tougher than I was originally planning it would be, but um, or not planning, you know what I mean? It was not what I was expecting. But it is good, so we've got to stage 1 free. It's just, man, that is tricky. When you match any weapon strategy, really, it kind of makes it seem like you should really just grind out the enemies for the heart and buy an upgrade, but I'm not sure if there's permanence upgrade though, because you could lose your heart, so. It's confused. It'd be nice if they made a new one. Um, anyway, thank you for joining us. If you're on Twitch, remember to follow so you get notified of all new live streams. And we put a schedule up every Monday. Watch this on Catch Up on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. All the links in the description below. You can help support us on Patreon and Twitch subscriptions or one off donations at Ko fi, Twitch Bits, Stickers, and Sound Alerts. So I appreciate all the support. And um, there's lots of extra bonuses for Twitch subscribers and Patreons. So let's see who we can raid today. Okay. Who's on? Who's on? Ooh, oh dear, we've had a technical issue here. Let's see. And this will be available on Catch Up as well on uh, YouTube later this week. So in case you've missed them. Yeah, let's raid Veneta. They're doing Aikai Kingdom Reclaimed and Rebound. I'm not familiar with that one, so that should be interesting to see. Okay, remember to stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. And we're going to start the raid now. Raiding.